The second theory behind how enzymes work is the induced fit model. This was formulated more recently in the 1960s. Unlike the lock and key model where the substrate must be a perfect complement for the enzyme, in the induced fit hypothesis, the active site of the enzyme is somewhat complementary but is not a perfect fit for the substrate initially. You might be wondering, how can the substrate bind to the enzyme in this case? Well, part of the substrate binds to the active site first due to some complementary shape and charge. And this binding causes a change in the 3D conformation of the enzyme, and thus also changing the conformation of the active site. This allows the active site to be molded into a more precise fit for the substrate to carry out the enzymatic action. So maybe think of it as a lock that doesn't quite fit the key, but as you put the key in the lock, it slowly changes its shape to accommodate the key. Or think of modeling clay, modeling clay where further molding and kneading of the dough will enable two pieces to be joined together more tightly and effectively. Similarly, after ensuring a more precise fit, catalysis occurs, the substrates change their 3D conformations, and products are released once again to make the active site available.